Good morning everyone, we're back in Kenora, Ontario. I have to drop off the rest of that load that we picked up in Quebec. That gets off my trailer today and then I have a reload just down the street. That's taking me into Minnesota. I'm doing one more loop before going home and bringing Old Blue in for a bit of service. And a little bit of extra work. In that time while Old Blue's at the shop, try to get the exterior of our home painted. It's not a very big house, so hopefully, hopefully we can get her done. For now, we'll just focus on this. We have 12 pieces, 12 crates to deliver here. Let's get these off the trailer, get the new freight on there, tarp it, and we'll go from there. That's the rest of my load. I have an empty flatbed behind me now and we're gonna go just down the road. It says about less than 10 miles. There's another load waiting for me of engineered lumber. I'm gonna throw it onto my trailer. So that, that if you're wondering what engineered lumber is, I didn't know that either until I started hauling it. It's fancy lumber. It's lumber that's, you know, maybe finishing carpentry or indoor carpentry. It's the kind of lumber you can't get wet and you can't get dirty. So we have to tarp it. It's fancy lumber, very special. Very, very special. It's going on a very special trailer being pulled by a very special trucker. And it's waiting for me there. So let's go pick it up. Let's tarp it. Let's take it down to Minnesota. I don't have a reload coming back out of Minnesota yet. I might be coming back empty. I don't know. It's the end of the month right now when I'm filming this. So uh, I'm trying to get one more load in before the end of the month. Uh, I was telling you before, Old Blue's got to go into the shop. I've got, uh, I've got to get them to look at a few things I'll have to show you. Obviously the full service, right? And then my rear diff is sweating. And it's worrying me a little bit. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be sweating at all. Uh, so I need them to check that level <coughs> and figure out why there's moisture on the diff. Not a lot, not a lot at all. It's just 
anything is a little, I guess anything is too much, but it's not like I'm overly concerned about it to the point where like uh, it's got to shut the truck down. It's just, it's to the point where I got to get them to look at it when it's in the shop next. Uh, got to get them to look at my slack adjuster on my passenger side steer. Uh, make sure that that's all up to snuff and just do an overall inspection of the entire truck for me while I'm, uh, while I'm at home for a few days over the long weekend painting our house. <laughs> always something to do. There's always something to do. And uh, I'm also gonna get a quote on my uh, frame extension. We gotta get it measured out, make sure everything stays within limits and regulations, but uh, I'm allowed to have up to 7.2 meter wheelbase on my truck in Canada right now, which equals about 280 inches. But the, the catch is that the entire unit from the front of my bumper to the rear bumper of my trailer can't be longer than 75.4 inches or something like that. Uh, feet, sorry, inches. <laughs> feet, 74, like 75 feet. I, I have to keep it at 75 feet or less. So right now, my whole unit with my fifth wheel slid all the way back to the end of my frame, we're sitting at about 73 feet, just under 73 feet. So I can add another two feet on there, plus then I'll be able to slide my fifth wheel forward because it won't be so close to my headache rack, gain another foot there. I could technically add three feet. I don't know if I want to add three free feet, but I have that available to me to be able to play with. So I want to get that priced out. Also, I want to get a lowering kit priced out for the front of the truck. This is just uh, getting numbers so that I have a baseline to start at. We got to buy a house first. Hopefully we're getting close to that. It doesn't seem like we're getting any closer. The housing market in Canada is not very friendly right now thanks to people in power. They have made the conditions for interest rates to just go through, this, through the roof. And they say, yeah, it's like that everywhere. Yeah, well, it didn't have to be. <laughs> but here we are. Hopefully we can change that uh, in the future. But for now, it's very hard to get a house in Canada. It used to be super easy. Like, not that long ago, super easy. But now it's very difficult. And we're struggling to be able to get that accomplished but we'll get there we'll do it on our own and uh, we'll figure it out but it's gonna take a little while so that that's priority number one but I, I sort of I sort of want to get some numbers for the next for the next goals right once we get the house we get moved in I want to know about how much I'm gonna need to start getting this truck restored and refurbished and uh, you know cleaned up a little bit oh, okay. we're getting loaded
best. Weekend. 
Well, suddenly you're not home next weekend. You're gone for like two weeks. They're like, oh, all that stuff that you can do that. Well, I guess we're gonna do it all the next weekend. But that weekend had its own stuff. So now we got this weekend stuff and that weekend stuff, and it's just piling on top of each other. Plus, you got new stuff because there's always new stuff. Always, there's always new stuff that comes in. So there's always stuff that piles on top of the stuff that piles on top of the stuff. And then some of the stuff gets piled under the stuff. You got to grab those things. Because sometimes you got to bring them to the top of the pile, get them done first. But you didn't think of them because you forgot them. Now they're down here and forgotten. You can't forget them. So now you have to put them up here and get them done before you get all this stuff done. But all this stuff still needs to get done. So that's how I'm feeling right now. Lots to get done, but that's life. I mean, you know, you have the same thing when you go home. <laughs> Even if you're home every night, stuff just keeps piling. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can. Uh, it's a long weekend coming up for us. This coming uh, this coming weekend is Labor Day weekend for us. So I'm gonna be home for the whole weekend. I want to get the exterior of our house painted. Uh, we're not sure if we're gonna be, you know, moving. In the next year or the next or the next we don't know exactly when the market is going to calm down a little bit but uh we want to be ready i, mean, I gotta paint the outside of the house it's got some paint peeling in sections that doesn't look good we're gonna fix it paint that up and uh that's my main goal and other than that sometime soon we also have to finish those countertops and i have no idea what i'm doing with countertop no idea no idea i'm old, kind of overwhelmed with that project but my dad and my Uncle Ike are gonna come and help me. Uh, my Uncle Ike used to do this for a living all the time. Like He knows exactly how everything gets done and how to do it properly. Uh, you guys have met him in vlogs in past years as well too. He's gonna come down and take a look at it and uh, I, I would still like to do it or at least have like a big hand in it because I don't wanna just get someone else to do it for me. I need to learn how to do these things. I wanna know how to do this too, but I need someone who knows what they're doing to show me and make sure that I don't screw it up. Because I want it to look nice, too. I don't want it just to get done. I want it to look nice. Even if we don't sell the house and we keep it as a rental, it's got to look nice. So we've got to get those countertops done. We're extending the countertops past our stove a little bit yet. We're taking out that uh, like pantry that can come out, putting in new cabinets there, putting another uh, countertop there. We bought another dishwasher recently. It's just for baby stuff. Uh, Britt has eczema on her hands, and town water makes her hands bleed it, 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 it's really really hard on her so when she has to do all these dishes every day for the baby it, it physically hurts her hands and they, they crack they bleed and it's very painful for her that's why we got the dishwasher right to, to ease all of the dishes that need to be done so that you don't have to do them all in the sink but a baby also comes with a lot of dishes and they have to have special dishwashing detergent and you can't mix them in with all the other ones and you got to make sure that they're washed properly and sterilized or sanitized, sterilized, sanitized, sterilized, that's the right word, right? You know which one I mean, one of those two, pick one. And uh, so we ordered this special countertop dishwasher that's specifically gonna be used for baby dishes. I know, we're going a little bit bougie here. Yes, a little bit bougie. We went a little bit above and beyond, but we, we need some counter space for that, so I need to make a new counter. <laughs> I'll show it to you, we're actually picking, I gotta I got pick it up uh, this weekend. So uh, that'll be something something cool to show you. And uh, yeah, this was the vlog for today. I was really tired yesterday. And you guys have seen this route over and over. It's tough sometimes to show you new things when I've showed you every single like <laughs> mile of the route already. But I hope you enjoyed it anyways. If you did, give me a like down below. It does help me a lot. Don't lie to me. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But please, uh, down below in the description as well, we're going to be doing another house giveaway. Okay, so last week I did a house giveaway, right? And I said, email me, and I'm going to pick a pick a winner. There, I got hundreds of emails. Hundreds of emails. So if I didn't respond to your email, I apologize. I got it, but I only responded to the winner. Because there's, there's hundreds of emails just coming in nonstop. My phone is just exploding, right? That's good. That's good. So we're gonna do it a little bit different this time, okay? Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, but sometime in the next week, I'm gonna do another giveaway and pick another winner. But this time, this time, not, not today. Sometime in the next five days, we're gonna do another giveaway, maybe two. I'm gonna pick one winner each time. But instead of emailing me, I'm gonna get you to leave a comment down below in my description, uh, in the comment section down below my description. And you're gonna have to say something unique in there. We're gonna figure out some kind of code or maybe a riddle you gotta break. Or maybe just a story of how house products have helped you in the in, in the past. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. It might be tomorrow, it might be the day after, it might be in five days. 
but you're gonna have to watch every day we're gonna do another house giveaway we're gonna give away an, another house hat I forgot my house hat at home don't do that if I if I send you one right you got to wear it everywhere they're really nice hats we got some mugs uh, I have some t-shirts at the shop that I can show you as well when I get there but all right, tune in every day turn your notifications on we're gonna be doing more giveaways with that said stay safe be safe and drive safe I'll see you tomorrow